Hello everyone, Sergeant274 back with episode 29 of our beginner's guide. Last time we just ran some errands, um, I was able to farm the Black Knight, Halpert, and um, Great Axe. So today we are going to go and take on um, the Painted World. So in order to access the Painted World, you have to have gone back to the Undead Asylum and picked up the Peculiar Doll, which is in the jail cell where you first um, started the game. So I'd recommend warping to on Orlando here. Actually, we can come here and put on the Dark Moon Sands Ring, which you get in the um, catacombs. That will make the statue of Gwynnair become an illusion. Well, as most things are around here, illusions. Um, blah, 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 blah. And you can basically join the Dark Moon Covenant over here. <laughs> and the Dark Moon Covenant is really cool. I like being a Dark Moon. Problem is, it's really hard to find invasions if you're not in Orlando for Dark Moons. They can invade infinitely down. Dark Race can invade infinitely up. And uh, Forest Hunter is basically, I think, whatever level they're in the forest. So, what you want to do then, to get to the Painted World, is... We were going to use Quaylake's Fury Sword. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can... Which is better flame? Better flame defense, this. Alright. We're still rolling quick, right? Yes, we are. Now we can get rid of that forevermore. We don't need the seance ring. Uh, we want that. Alright. Get to the painted world, basically. Come Dark Moon Tomb. And go up the stairs once. And here you go. This is how you get to the painted world. We're also going to get an armor set over here. These painted guardians drop the painted guardian sword. You can see how quickly, uh, how quick the attack of the, um, what do you call it, here is. Quaylex Fury Sword. We actually want to get that freaking armor that's over there. Ow. Oh my gosh. Come on, over here. Sure, I'll take all you on. Good thing. Oh my gosh. Stop flipping around like freaking ninjas, okay? Die. What? Can you explain that one to me? What the heck are you doing with your friend there? <laughs> Alright, let's see, did we get a Painted Guardian sword? No, we did not. That's too bad. Alright, basically the goal was to come here and pick up this. Which is Great Magic Weapon. And how many more of these guys do we have on us? You, sir. How did he get out of that? I'd love to know how he got out of that. No, we're going to die. Holy crap, we have a lot of them. There are a lot here. One knife and we're dead. Alright. <laughs> this is not the optimal method. This is the how to get yourself killed method right here. Okay. Thanks for the knife to the throat there. Die. Die. Where's your buddy? Would they give me a painted guardian sword, for goodness sakes? Isn't there one more over here? No. Alright, there's one over here. Isn't there one in the corner? Guess not. Alright, if you want Tarkus's armor, there you go. Black iron sets over here. So, painted world. Examine the painting. I downloaded a retexture for this painting, but it did not work. So this is the original artwork for the painting. And I am ugly. Alright, basically it sucks you in. Here you go. <laughs> You're in the painted world. And the reason I have Quaylex Fury Sword here is because his enemies are weak to fire. Or, well, 
least, um, what do you call it? Um, a certain enemy here will not toxify you if you have a fire weapon. Alright, so there are going to be a lot of enemies out here, so we will. Um, we'll do the Covetous Gold Silver. So, um, alright, once you're in the Painted World, you're stuck here. These guys will die in one shot. Like I said, the this weapon scales. By the way, real quick, I never showed it off. It's not really a quality weapon, E strength scaling, whatever. But B dex, and um, it scales with humanity too. So it's we're getting no benefit now because we have zero humanity up there in the upper left. But um, if we were, um, if we had some, the the weapon would do a lot more damage. Which hopefully we can get, but I don't need it necessarily right now. Okay. Archers here are jerks. Um, these guys are also jerks. Because they can toxify you, but if you have a fire weapon like I do, really, um, it burns their, their toxicity off, so it will not affect you. Alright. So, we took care of those guys. Behind you here, you can come over this direction. And we are actually... We're going to put the Ring of the Evil Eye on here in a second. I don't care about the souls. I just don't have to heal constantly. Come up the stairs here. <coughs> and you can come over here, drop down, and get yourself the Dried Finger. Dried Finger resets the online timer for invasions. And let's see if I remember what's up here. A douche. And what is down here? I don't know if there's anything down here. It might be some albino rats or something like that down here. Um, Brave Warrior. That's the R2 right there. He didn't give us anything. It's too bad. Alright, now let's get out of here. That's pretty much it for the initial first part here. You can actually run by everything here if you wanted to, but... Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take this on like it should be. Get rid of Archer. These two guys will come at you. Then you're going to have Douche Nozzle over here come at you too. So we are going to kill him quickly though. Ouch. Did we not kill him? Where's the other guy coming from here? There's another one down there. I didn't think he came all the way over here, though. Really? Wow. That was a lot of people right there. There's still this guy over here. Oh, my goodness. Alright. He's dead. <sighs> Alright. So, with that out of the way... You can come cut that off and you can get whatever treasure that was a little bit later. There's really nothing else in here. Basically your goal in a painted world right here is to open the shortcut. That is the first initial goal. There you go. He gone, he gone. I don't think there's... I don't know if there's anything up here. Um... Alright, there is something over there. I think we can get there later, but I'll run and jump. Just soul of a brave warrior. Nothing too important. And we can climb down here now. And watch out, there's a guy that comes up behind you. And we're going to be rewarded with one of my favorite armor sets in the game. It's light, and I think it looks cool. At least on a girl, a female character. You gonna do something? Do something? Am I gonna do something? I sat there long enough. Missed him. Not gonna drop anything. Fine, whatever. And that is the Painted Guardian set. I like it. He likes it a lot. Um, yeah, there's nothing there. That's just an area you can drop down to. And pick up the armor from the back way, basically. 
I hear someone, and I don't really like that. Who knows? Is there anything in here? No. Oh, there's a thing over here. And this is the egg vermifuge cur cures egghead. If you were unfortunate enough to have gotten egghead. All right. Now this area. Um, I would recommend coming down here first. And let's see. Before you take on the dragon down there, remember what I said. The goal is open up the shortcut. So just come down the stairs, come down again, turn, and go through the fog gate or white light. <coughs> At this point, just run by these guys. Who cares? Run by them. And come to the front gate here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now you have the shortcut open. The bonfire is right over here. There's the bonfire right down there. So now the shortcut's open. And your life has just become a lot easier. At this point, come over here, up these stairs. You can go down here. Um, actually, before we go down there, let's go over this direction. Because there's a couple things. There's a, this, we can pick up a soul of a proud knight. But you get a lot of people attacking you, so. But with our shield here, that stability is beast. Beast mode stability. And you can also cut that second one um, that was at the beginning there. You can also shoot those with arrows if you want. Alright. Now, this is one of the reasons why I got my freaking Silver Knight shield to plus... Um, five this is the uh, basement here and there are the stupid bone shield bone wheel guys see here comes one so there's a few of them hiding around here so let him let them do their thing there you're gonna take two shots to kill with this whatever all right so take get that one out the way come down here there's gonna be another one that comes over here get him trapped against the wall somehow I trap myself and come over here for yet another one no that's not the end of him alright once he's done doing his thing kill him what do I have on ring of the evil eye alright walk a little bit further there'll be one that actually is in the corner there there he comes. And kill him. Alright, I think there's one that drops down here. I'm not certain. Yep, there's the one that drops down by the thing here. Oh god, see we died. That second one came there. That's my fault, guys. I didn't know I aggroed that one that's way over there in the corner. You can also, if you have a bow and arrow, you can aggro them one at a time. So, that's my fault. My fault. So we're just going to run back there. Because it's not a big deal. If you die, you die. But you can get back there pretty easily. Especially once that shortcut is opened. We are going to slide down here because you take a little bit of fall damage from that. Alright, again, this guy's first to the right. Alright, and then this guy. Two, you don't even need to two hand it. It's going to be two of them no matter what. Then this guy. One, two. And you know what? Let's get this guy down. Where are you? I know you fall down here. 
Oh no, actually he's at the end there. Never mind. I thought he fell down, but he doesn't fall down. He just comes from the end and kills you. There's three down here and then three over there. Alright. Two more, at least in this area. Then we're fine. I'm waiting for them to drop their shield, but they're not going to. However. Pick up your soul of the proud knight, and then there's one more over here. He's going to make you chase him, of course. <coughs> Alright. Now we're done. Got rid of all of them. Come over here, turn the wheel. That will turn the statue. Which in turn... a lot of turns there will open up the way to the boss of this area. My favorite boss. Um, well, I shouldn't say my favorite boss because I don't like killing this boss. But you can if you want the souls or the tail. Alright, so come over here. There's another way to do this, by the way. Um, but this is just the normal way, I guess. Turn to the right. And come left, watch out, because there's going to be another one of these guys. That's fine, let him do his thing here. Kill him. And then pick up this. If you're going to pick up one item here, this is item to pick up. It's the Annex Key. And turn right, there'll be another one of these things here. Um, where is he at? He's around the corner here. Oh, come on! That's stupid. Honestly, that was pretty stupid. Of course, I have no poise, so what do you expect, right? <laughs> like I said, any one freaking enemy can kill you, especially these stupid guys. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the back way in here, because I don't want to go through that dungeon again. He, I mean, seriously? He hits me with that piece of crap, but I... whatever. Alright, if you don't want to deal with the dungeon, or if you've already turned the, the statue and everything... Um, you can come over here and climb down the well. Once down the well, to your right will be another one of those idiots. Who will open that thing up. Wait for him to come down here. Your shield will be more than sufficient to block his attacks. Alright, now we're going to go back to where we were, which is over here. Just kidding, it's not over here. Where the heck were we? Hello, sir. Hello. Cheerio. Really, dude? Alright. Yeah, that's fine, too. You can do that. Yeah, okay. There was nothing down there to begin with. Where, oh, where can my baby be? I'm as lost as can be. Okay. So there he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. He ran up the stairs. Alright, so basically the other thing over in this area is this guy over here who will not do anything. He just dies. And you get Pyromancy Fire Surge free from him. So, Alright. Now, like I said, the, the main thing is we got the Annex Key. So, with the Annex Key, we can now access the Annex, surprisingly. By the way, those guys die are weak to fire. They are very reminiscent of the... Um, boss in Demon Souls. Oh my gosh, seriously. They obviously have very, very good aim. Just keep your shield up. Serpentine. Alright, we're going to go through the annex now. We'll go down that little graveyard in a minute. Alright, so we're going to heal up here. And... 
go up the annex. And there is probably my favorite magic weapon in the game. It's not as strong as the Moonlight Butterfly, or Moonlight Butterfly, or the Moonlight Greatsword, but it is, uh, I like it better. So, whatever. It's all a matter of what you like. There's these guys down here. This guy's gonna run from you, apparently. Alright, watch out for crow people flying down here. Look, you get the dark ember. Crow people. Alright, this guy, do not let him jump on your head. Take them out as soon as possible. These guys also drop, um... Uh, what do you call it? Souvenirs of Reprisal. Alright, now with them done, and you got the Occult Ember, you can come over here, break that wall, and get, like I said, my favorite magic weapon in the game, which is Velka's Rapier. <coughs> Skills with Intelligence, and Dex, and Strength. So, yeah. Alright, there's a guy shooting fire at you here, just roll through it. Take him down. Get another one of my favorite armors in the game. Velka's, well it's the Black Cleric stuff, I guess, but it's Velka's stuff. And then, if you really want to, be careful, because guess what? You're going to have a bunch of these guys coming in on you again. Oh, what was that? Alright, there we go, we took him out. Whoa, I thought we took you, thought we took him out. He just kind of fell through everything there, so there you go, Vow of Silence. Basically allows you to, um... When you cast it, no one can cast magic in the same area. Alright, so that's everything for the Annex. Um, actually, can we fall down? I think we can fall down somewhere. And maybe take a little shortcut. Maybe, baby. Hmm. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's try it, shall we? What's over here? What is over here? Oh, more you guys. You can give me some humanity? Of course not. Why would you possibly do anything as nice as that? Alright. Kill these guys. He didn't die, somehow. Oh my gosh, how many of them are there? And none of them are dropping the darn thing. Isn't that beautiful? So I guess you could try to farm humanity here, but obviously it is not a worthwhile effort, at least for me. There we go, I got one. Woo! Yay. Um, and where the heck are we now? Alright, that's down to where we got the, uh, what do you call it? Painted Guardian sets. This here is back to where we were, so we're basically at the beginning again. <coughs> but we took care of the um, annex section. Dude, seriously? Oh god, this is going to be bad. Okay, somehow we killed them all. That's apparently where they come from. Alright, there's another guy that just fell down here. I don't think I didn't see you. Alright. Hello. Really? Oh my gosh, seriously. Of all the attacks to do, that's the one he decides to do on me there, right? Again. Oh, let's just get rid of these guys. Now we're going to take on the undead dragon here. Because, if you want to, there's a shortcut to the boss down here, but we are not going to take that shortcut. What we are going to do right now is get the blood shield, which is a very good shield actually, and pick up large soul of a proud knight. And we're going to run our little heinies over here. And we are going to put on my Darkwood Rainer. Alright, so basically what you're going to do is bait him to attack. There he goes come up here and hit him. Actually, we could have probably hit him again, but whatever. Now he's going over there. Be 
Green Undead Dragon. He is weak to fire. Alright, let's see. Which way is he going with his little spewing poison attack? That way. So they come in. Whack him. Get out of his way. Let him... Whoa! Other way. <laughs> come on, over here. There you go, buddy. There you go, Mr. Undead Dragon. See, it's going to take a little while to kill him, but basically, that's what you do. You can cheese him with arrows, too, by the way. That is perfectly feasible. Alright, I got a little greedy there. Maybe, if he does it, where are you going to do it? Over there. Maybe I can take him off with three hits here. One, two, alright, two did it. He gone. And for defeating him, you get some souls and a dragon scale. And then also, like I said, if you don't want to worry about turning that door, there is a way to get to the boss r real quickly. Come over here to this guy. Two-handed jumping attack. He will jump up, and you can get to the boss right over there. Jump down and run for the fog gate. And that is the boss of this area. We are going to head back and do a couple more things, though. Those couple more things being... Get another soapstone that is up here. Now watch out, there are these guys here. Alright, they take... F Whoa, hello, I did not see you there four shots. He did not drop anything. I think there's one more up here. Yeah, one more. Oh, God. No! Alright, well, we killed him. Good thing we didn't fall all the way there. Hey, look. Perfect. We get a soul. Alright, so we're going to fall back on it and then just run back up because there are no more of those guys up here. That was it. And at the very top of the structure, you will see the red soap stone, red sign soap stone. Basically, you put your red sign down, people can summon you to have duels or for invasions and stuff like that. So that's what that is. Alright, now we're going to run back down, level up at the bonfire, and, um, wow, that was close. <laughs> uh, you see, that's, where's our bonfire at? Over here. Oh, gosh. Okay, actually, before going to the bonfire, we are going to go down here and pick up the stuff that's over here. Are you serious? Wow, we almost died. Wow. That stupid attack. Stupid flailing lunge. Uh, I have my sword to my hand. I'm going to set you upon fire. Alright. So, over in this area, we get the soul of the proud knight. Another soul of a proud knight. He's not so proud now since his corpse is right there. Can we jump up there? No, we can't. That's the problem with Sarah. You can't jump up there. Come all the way over here. <coughs> and over here in the corner, behind the wall, is another pyromancy acid surge. It will degrade your weapon. Alright. Now we can come on over here. And <laughs> for this part, we are going to throw the Hornet Ring back on and get rid of this other junk that's up there. Holy crap, dude! Dude, relax. Relax, relax. Man, I don't know what they're doing. Probably waiting to invade someone, which will probably be me. Um, so, alright, we really need our endurance up. That has been lacking. So, 
We are going to reverse hollowing here. And really quickly. <coughs> really quickly come over here. Kill douche nozzle. Go to our right. Kill these guys off. Kill these guys off. Alright, and come down here. Run around town a little bit. Then come back up this direction. Pick up a broken straight sword. And look who it is. It's Dark whatever Jeremiah. Who's going to get backstabbed. <coughs> he actually, is that good fire resistance? Crap. He has good fire resistance, doesn't he? That's why I'm not doing too much damage to him, because he is resistant to fire. I think. I don't know. That may not actually be good, but whatever. Alright. <coughs> so now that he has been vanquished, we've pretty much done everything here. So we are going to continue by going straight on to the boss now. <coughs> And the boss is down here. Watch out in this area. Uh, there's an archer and then there's another guy to the right. Right here. And then uh, as soon as you kill this archer, four guys appear. And I missed all of them. There we go. Now this guy will come down as well. And he has no idea what he's doing. Oh, this guy has a very powerful greatsword. Wow. You can see the, uh, the damage of the fire there. It really, really has a great effect. <coughs> and people that just sit there and use a shield because the shield doesn't block 100% fire damage. Alright, so here is the boss of the area. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we'll go through. <coughs> Here we are. This is my girl, Priscilla. I'm in love. Yes, I am with Priscilla. I'm in love with a dragon chick. Alright, anyways. you d She's optional. You don't have to kill her. Alright, I'm going to show you how to kill her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Priscilla. Sorry, Charlie. I am actually going to be using that... And we want bleed resistant, um, what do you call it? Bleed resistant armor. So, gold hemmed was 200. Oh, 200 for gold hemmed. Alright, 204. What was 209? Of course, Havel's was. Alright, looks like gold hemmed is going to be the winner. Except for the painted guardian set there. And yeah, gold hemmed and painted guardian set. And also put the blood bite shield on here, by the way. Or blood bite, blood shield. And if you want to, you can also put on. This doesn't require much of anything, so we're just going to keep the covetous gold serpent or silver ring on. Okay, Priscilla, if you want to chop off her tail, you can. You will get the. Um, well, Priscilla's dagger, so we are going to try to do that with a plus 15 uh, washing pole. Thanks. We got it. There you go. Now we're good. Basically what you want to do is she turns invisible. Fire here will actually, or large attacks will, um, what do you call it, make her reappear. But what you have to do, I just circle around here and look for her footsteps don't want to put a big weapon on like this like the washing pole and just charge in and start swinging away now be careful because her weapon the life on scythe causes bleed damage like crazy like that <laughs> and it hurts if you bleed out there's a chance you will die so just be careful of that but you have time to retreat and run around here it 
This is the one fight actually where those stupid red uh, clumps may come in. Blood bite clump. What are they called? Blood red moss clumps or something. Oh man, I missed. Yeah, I'm not really looking for a, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, girl. Girl, I know, I love you. I love you, I'm sorry. I am a sorry. Here, let me heal up here real quick. Love hurts, baby. Love hurts. She's right behind me. She should be dying pretty soon here. She doesn't have that much HP. Priscilla, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, where are you? Alright, you're not over there. Let your stuff recharge here. You know, we're really not blocking a darn thing, so... There we go. There she goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. And there you go. You get Soul of Priscilla. And you can use that to make the Life Hunt Scythe. Also, um, save, reload your game, and, um, well, I'll do it. I'll show it. Quit your game here. Like so. Reload. And right behind you is the Xanus the Xanus set. And to get out of here, very simply walk to the edge. You will jump and you'll be right back here. So there you go. Alright, that's the Painted World. Thank you everyone for watching. Adios.